This video demonstrates how to configure dynamic DNS on Wagia Cloud. Each time when accessing servers or devices with DHCP assigned IP addresses. Users need to determine the IP address in advance, which leads to inefficiency and inconvenience. Dynamic DNS solves this issue by mapping dynamic IP addresses to a static domain name. Providing users a fixed entry point and improving efficiency. In this video, we will walk through how to configure dynamic DNS on Wagia Cloud. Visit the official website of Ruagia Cloud. On the displayed page, enter your username and password, and click Login. On the home page, click the target project. On the page that is displayed, choose Device Config. Gateway, Dynamic DNS. Select the target device from the Select the Device drop-down list. The supported dynamic DNS types are displayed. Select Wagia DDNS. Toggle on DDNS Enable. Enter the domain name and select the domain suffix. Select the IP address type of the device. Then, select the type of the IP address mapped to this domain name. If one IP is selected, you also need to select the one interface for domain mapping. Tick I have read and agreed to the user agreement, and then click Save. Before configuring no IP, you need to register an account at www.noip.com. On the No IP tab page, select the service interface for domain mapping. Enter the username, password, and domain name used for registration on the official website of NoIP. Select whether to enable IPv6. Click Save. If you use any other dynamic DNS service, register a domain name on the official website of the corresponding provider in advance. On the Dyn DNS tab page, select the service provider. Select a one interface for domain mapping. Enter the username, password, and domain name used for registration on the official website of the domain name provider. Click Save. This video uses Ruegia DDNS as an example to verify the configuration. Enter the domain name in your browser's address bar and press Enter. The configuration is successful if you are redirected to the device's web interface. To follow this issue, comment on our video or send an email to us. See you in the next video.